Good morning, Sugar Cube. Good morning. I'm actually in a good mood because I slept really, really good last night. I I slept pretty good last night too, which oh. is surprising. I haven't been. I slept. I've been sleeping really good the past few nights. Last night was amazing. I had my window open a little bit, even though we turned the heat off. I still had it open just because I like the noise. And Did we stuff. sleep with the heat off last night? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. I didn't and it notice. was still 66 in here. Yeah, it's been really it's warm. Warmer. Yeah, but it's going to be nice and then rain all weekend. I'm very yeah. annoyed about it. Yeah. Um, no, because yesterday me and Jalen were both devastated that we had, like, more work to do or, like, he was stuck at work. Because, I like, you were talking about it. We talked about it, yeah. too. Like, we're like, we could have went for a walk. We could have went to the park. Yeah, I wanted to go on a walk so bad. Cross and I really like going to trails and stuff and walking. And I, I mean, I guess I could have went for one around the neighborhood. It just doesn't hit the same. No, it doesn't. The and it was it's not big. You, know, there was something about the way yesterday smelled. If that makes sense, that feels parky and not walking around my neighborhoody. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Y- yeah, completely. <laughs> yeah, that's how I felt the yesterday. Vibes. The vibes were just different. Ugh. But I love having our like back door open to let the air in also smelled so good speaking of the weekend though so you were talking about you and Jaylen going to see batman and this is just a really quick sidetrack real fast i looked the movie up has an 87 Mm -hmm. so that's really good the runtime is two hours and 56 minutes okay but we watch marvel (laughs) i didn't know no marvel movie has been that long really the longest is like two hours and like 15 minutes probably yeah. So the fact that Batman is almost three hours, and I was talking about it with someone, and I was like, you know, I'm more of like a an hour 30 type of girl. Like, that's enough for me. I feel like I get a well-developed story if it's a good writer. Um, so I'm really hoping this movie is good. I'm really excited about it, though. Jalen said that Jason Tavian, um, some of his roommates and friends, really liked it because they went to one of the events last yeah, night that I released s- it early mm, so um but this okay this sounds really bad but honestly i don't want your opinion about a movie if you're a film major no and they're both film majors like that sounds really bad like i but they just think they have the best we've talked about this either in a pet peeve or annoying things like podcast i've talked about this i just like to be able to make my own opinions up and Jalen was like well i was just trying to get you excited for the movie and i'm like well i'm already excited so i don't want everyone else's opinions making me feel like i have to love it if i don't end up liking it yeah kind of thing no because okay so cross and i have been watching star wars and last night we made it to the seventh one so we started it a little bit but we paused it to go to bed and he was like there's something that happens in the last movie that you're gonna hate and I literally told him I was like no don't tell me like anything even that because I don't want to go into it biased yeah like if I know me personally if I know that someone is saying something is going to happen that they know I will not like Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna want to watch it oh I get so irritated which is why when we looked up the SAG Award outfits, we did not look up the best dressed or anything. Yes, I just pulled up, um, what is it? I think it's E! News. Yeah, it's just like red carpet fashion. It just has like their name um, and picture. And I think the designers, which I probably won't really pay too much attention to. Yeah. But I didn't, we didn't want to be swayed by like best because honestly, I don't normally agree with those. Well, and it's like, I just don't want to feel like I have to. I'm very much, uh, it really just depends on the person, the outfit, like, as in how it looks on them. Not... Yeah. Yeah. But I have another thing to say about the SAG Awards in general, which for those of you who didn't know, because I did not know what it stood for, um, Screen Actors Guild Awards. Have you ever heard of this before this year? Because I've never... It I've, says 28th. No, I've, I've never heard of I've this. I've heard of the SAG Awards. I just never knew what it stood for. But I've heard of them. To, okay, and just also as a note for this, Lacey's more into this, like, um, award shows than I am. I don't typically... I'm not saying you watch them, but, like, more than I have. Like I'm, I grew up watching them because my mom and I always loved E! News. 
and they would do like red carpet like programs and stuff. And then we used to watch like the Grammys and then the Golden Globes, I think. We never watched the Oscars because we both thought they were boring, but I don't know. I'm just more into pop culture too. So. Yeah, I like the fashion aspect of it um, and I like to see who wins. I just don't have the desire to sit through an award show personally. I grew up on Gossip Girl. You didn't. Yeah. It makes sense. No, no, no. And that's fair. That's fair. I just, I don't have the patience for it. And then mm-hmm. if someone didn't win what I wanted, I'd get annoyed. And then if there's a category I don't care about, I can't skip it. And oh I can God. just look up the list the next day, you know? So. The, the Grammy, the twenty I think it was 2014 Grammys when they called Album of the Year and they started with red and you thought they were going to say red, but then they said, I think it was some other album. But that was the most devastating moment. I thought you were going to talk about when Billie Eilish went over Ariana Grande and everyone was upset even though it was accurate. Then you have me and I don't give a fuck about either of them, so I could care less. Yeah. Couldn't care less. Shit. Okay. Anyways, (laughs) I'm going to open my caffeine. Yeah, I have a coffee and, like, the cutest mug ever. Fun fact, Lacey actually bought this mug. Not this exact one, but this mug for um, our friend Laura. Um, and I said, I'm buying that. And I did the next time I went to Target. It has some, it's like this like forest emerald, like blue green with like these colorful flowers. And it just spills, it says spill the tea. And I was just like, what a mood. It's I think, so cute. I think I now have two mugs that say spill the tea actually. And I forgot Wait, because one I don't use. You should hold it up because I want to take a picture of it for the Insta. Oh, do you want me in it or just? Yeah, get in it too. There. We yeah. Need, we need <laughs> Sorry. More content for Sorry. Our page, Quick guys. pause. Um, no, but um, basically, we're just gonna go through the outfits. We probably won't. We won't talk about everyone. We'll probably mostly talk about outfits that, like, even if we don't know them, or like, oh, we have something to say about this, or the people we know, kind of mm-hmm. thing. That's kind of how I'm thinking. Yeah. And then, agreed. depending on time, we might talk about like winners and stuff, but that's not the focus. Yeah. Of so the pod. we are about to be like project runway is that the show we're about to judge these people in outfits that we can never dream of wearing essentially yeah (laughs) so let's get to it yeah um i had some thoughts on this one i don't know who this is though carrie washington i've heard that name to be fair i'm just horrible at names she is most known for what's that show how to get away with murder? I thought okay, I thought that's who it was. Yeah, I haven't really watched it though. She is wearing a because we gotta describe it a little bit, um, but she's wearing a like I would say bright yellow dress. It's yeah, it's gown. A, it's a yellow gown and it's like a V, a deep V, but like a wide deep V. Yeah, on the top with like the little points, um, with no straps, and it's like tight and then it's like the mermaid thing but like higher than the mermaid yeah does that make sense yeah it's like mermaid but it then it gets super big and it's, it's super not fluffy. fluffy um which i personally i think the fluffiness of the bottom saves it for me um because i don't love the top of this dress yeah i'm not a fan of this at all also um I'll go ahead and link the article we're looking at the outfits on in the yeah. description. So if you, so if you want to look along, along with us, so it's more obvious if you didn't watch the show. Um, um, but, like, I'm just not a fan. There's just, like, some texture. And the dress itself reminds me of mustard. Just the color. And it looks kind of wrinkly. Like, if I'm being really nitpicky. Yeah. Like, the See? material just doesn't seem like it like falls well i think my biggest thing is the color because if it was maybe maybe a different color i would be more like okay i it's okay i don't know even if it was just a different shade of yellow yeah i just feel like yellow would normally look amazing on someone with her skin tone Mm -hmm. and like just this yellow isn't doing much for me well and i don't personally like the yellow with the red lip is this a red i couldn't tell yeah 
But no, and I feel like her eye makeup, we're not talking about makeup specifically, I feel like her eye makeup's a little much for this dress. It's very dark and vampy for a yellow dress. I was gonna say, I feel like she should have gone with lighter makeup. Yeah. Um, but that's not a word shows, you know. How would you rate it? Out of 10 or 5. You feel like five's easier. Mm, two and a half. I don't hate it. Yeah, I agree. Mm, two and a half. Like, I don't feel like it's a two. Like, that's insulting. Um, but a two and a half, like, it's average. I don't hate it. There's things I don't like, yeah, though. she's still gorgeous. Yeah, she's yeah. so pretty. Um, I also wouldn't have put my hair to the side for this, personally. I would have put yeah. it, like, slicked back or something. Yeah. I think that would have been cute. Like, um, I'm thinking, I don't watch Euphoria, but Maddie from Euphoria, like, slicked back pony. Yeah. Like, with some edges, like. Yeah. Oh, that would have been pretty. Anyway, um, do mm. I know this person? Do you I know? don't. I don't. I'm going to skip. <laughs> Kid Cuddy. Yeah, I feel like we got to talk about this. This it's- is interesting. <sighs> it's the different color shoelaces for me. It's the shoes with the pants for me because it just reminds None. me of like walking around campus. <laughs> None of these pieces of clothing go together. And no. I think that was the point. Yeah. But it missed the mark for me. Yeah, it definitely does. Is does he have sunglasses on? Yeah, I actually like yeah. the sunglasses. Yeah. I uh, like, like the his sunglasses. top half is really cool. And I then, just wish there wasn't the skirt thing going on. Oh, I didn't even realize that. And maybe I need to turn my brightness up. Yeah. There we go. <gasps> that helps so much. Can I look at this yellow again? Mm. Mm, it's even worse. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. No, if this skirt thing wasn't... It reminds or, me of a kilt. I think it's just like another under thing because it's not attached in the front. But I wish that wasn't there. And if he would have wore like this with like a cream shirt and like cream pants, mm. I think that would have been really. I like black with cream. I think it looks so nice mm. together. Yeah, or even like a deep red. Like something to go with this. Mm. Something to go oh. with the shades. Something that matched the lens on the shades for me. And then like a nice shoe. But to be He's fair, wearing Louis Vuitton. Yeah, he's wearing oh, Louis fuck. Vuitton. Interesting. To be fair, I am saying this from, like, just thinking about celebrities. That is not him, though. Like, he's a rapper or something. I don't know much about him, if I'm being honest. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure he's a rapper based on his name. <laughs> but, like, so, like, I expect this kind of thing from them. So I think you have to think about that, too. But for me, I would prefer the cream. He has, like, the sparkly jacket on. I forgot to describe what he was wearing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Not a fan. This one's... It's just, like, there's so much. But here's my thing. But he's a guy, and he's not just wearing a suit. I was about to say that. I was, like, I appreciate the, like, drive. I know. It's about drive. It's about power. power. We stay hungry. We don't power. <laughs> um, no. So for that, I want to rank it. I, like, in my head, I want to rank it higher. Because I'm like, thank God, it's just not a tuxedo. Mm-hmm. Because, but I will say some celebrities, when they just wear a tuxedo, that's not their best. And, like, they shouldn't sway yeah. from it. I'm going to give him a three because I appreciate his drive. And all of the pieces have potential. They just don't fit together. Yeah. And, like, it doesn't look not cohesive just for our personal taste, I think. Mm-hmm. And I'll, I'll agree with the three. Um, and I, I just noticed he has, like, a ring on and I like that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but um, the shoes are the worst part for me. Yeah, I agree. So, but in not looking at the shoes, I give it a three. And I'm just going to ignore the shoes because I want to be nice because he's trying. Yeah. But he should just wear a black shoe or something if he was doing that all black or, like, white to match the shirt. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Lady Gaga. I, we have to. I don't know Who how you feel. Who is she wearing? She is wearing Armani Privé oh. and Tiffany Co. Oh. Jewelry. Mm. Hmm. I'm underwhelmed. I gotta say, I love, but I kind of wish her hair was darker. Or maybe I kinda the wish, dress was darker. I kind of wish she had a dark root on her hair, but, like, just mm. her root. Um, but I feel like maybe it's how she's posing, but I just don't feel like it's doing anything for her figure, which isn't, a necess- like, necessary. Just it looks like that's what it's trying to do, and I don't think it's achieving it. I also 
personally don't like the necklace. I feel like she should have gone with something maybe a little bit smaller or maybe nothing at all. But also, on the other hand, with the necklace that she is wearing, I feel like it gives me like old Hollywood. So I actually really like that part. My biggest qualm with the necklace is that it's so big and chunky next to like on her like the top is she's also wearing a strapless and it's like a very deep kind of plunge mm -hmm. but not so much a v-neck and there's this like dirty champagne like kind of kind of taupey mm -hmm. like shimmer and it's just clashing with the silver for me like if you're gonna do that yeah. big like if that was the same color or closer I wouldn't not have a problem with it, but we're keeping it. If I keep in mind that the dress and the jewelry are different designers, because she's yeah. wearing Tiffany and Co., so that's probably why she's wearing that. Even, hmm, I was gonna say pearls might be better, but in oh, clash pearls. with the white though. The I see. Are I more think ivory. See, I didn't see this as like a white. It's like it looks like a satin esque it material. Me of silver. Hmm. See, I'm seeing it like a white cream. That's so interesting how we're just mm -hmm. seeing the color different. But it's like lighting and everything. Yeah. But Which, my brightness is all. Can we up. see her shoes? Or no, no, they're covered. I wish we could though. Um, That's awesome though. I could go to an award show in my docs. Oh no yeah. No one yeah. would know. Yeah, I would do that. I would have done that prom if I had them because all mine were floor length and like I'm super short and I don't have the money to get them. I will say thinned. though, I hated the girls that would wear the Converse under their prom. They just dresses. thought they were quirky. Yeah, and they would make it known. They no, and it'd be like all of their pictures was them lifting up and like yeah, all of them and, and their at friends each other would do laughing. it. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, you know what? No, I would never do that because I love taking off my shoes at prom. And I like heels. Yeah, heels are cute. cute. I wanted a reason to buy them. I would always get the chunky ones because I knew myself and I was like, I won't be able to walk around in the ones that are super tall or the ones that are like super skinny heels. So yeah. I, knew. I like heels. But yeah, um, I would give her a four. I was going to say four. <gasps> Oh no, this is a four for me. She looks good. Initially, I was underwhelmed, but then looking at the makeup, the <gasps> eyeshadow matches so I, well. Yeah, I was literally about to say her makeup complements the outfit really well. No, I think it's the perfect amount of makeup. And the lip color. Also, like, can we just appreciate where she's gotten to? Like, she used to be, like, that bitch, like, outrageous out there, and she's so classy. Yeah. Like, this is, yes. Sometimes she scares me. I love it because I feel like a shapeshifter and I feel like she's a shapeshifter. <laughs> Wait, can we look up her chart real quick? Yeah. I just want to know, is she a yeah, astro chart? I'm so curious to know her big three. Let's, Let's see. see. Okay. Do -do -do, we are looking this up. Um, oh, she's an Aries with a Scorpio moon mm. and a Gemini rising, bro. Wow, they really had to give her that Scorpio moon, though, didn't they? Mm. That's interesting. Hmm. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. No, not a, she's five three. She's I my she height. Taller. I always think celebrities. She's are only more an inch taller than me. I always think celebrities are more my height, but the majority of the time I figure out their height, they're actually like five, five yeah. two. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, I guess I am more on the taller they side. They would be looking up to you. That's so weird. Oh, I could make her look small. <laughs> you love making me look small. <laughs> um, yeah, but this is a four. Yeah. I would change the jewelry, but overall it's a four. Yeah. It grew on me. Uh, I don't know you, but yeah, mm. we can pass. Tuxedo. Okay. Oh, Venus Williams. She's wearing Dolce and Gabbana. Um, I recognize her, and I know she is very famous. She's a tennis player. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know how to feel. Mm. I, it's She's the, giving me like Wonder Woman. I will say, thank God she did not put a necklace with this. Mm -hmm. So she's wearing like this like silver kind of corset thing, but like with a white 
fabric like draped over her around her waist and over one shoulder and across her chest it reminds me no you know what it looks like it looks like wonder woman's little corset thing with bella's wedding dress like half ripped hmm yeah 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 it's kind of like it does have that like kind of v effect across her chest i will say though i love her hair with the outfit no her hair is perfect i would not change a thing her makeup is perfect Mm -hmm. i think it's interesting because i'm i love makeup so like it's interesting that i've really been enjoying the more muted but like i feel like if you're wearing such a state like if you are wearing something super simple Go ahead and, um, just so we can see the hair. Yeah, if you're gonna wear something simple, go out with your makeup, like make that bang. But if you're gonna wear like kind of a statement piece, I just feel like your makeup should be a little bit more subdued. Mm-hmm. Do whatever you want, like, obviously, again, I'm a normal civilian, but yeah. just in my well, opinion. <laughs> and I like that the dress is so unique, and then the shoes are just simple. Simple and she's and so smart showing off her arms and her legs because, mm-hmm. yeah, if I looked like that, I would too. She's hot. <laughs> she's hot. Um, I love that she didn't pair a necklace with this. Um, normally, I don't like those types of corsety tops, but, like, I, I like it here. I don't hate it. It's, like, it's not – it's, like, on one hand, I'm, like, wow, I do not like that. But then on the other, I'm, like, Yeah. This is perfect. I feel like I shouldn't like it, but, like, yeah. on her, I like it. Like, if anyone else wore, like, if Ariana Grande pulled up in this, I would be, like, absolutely not. This Mm-mm. is too basic. And, but, like, for some reason, it looks perfect on her, mm-hmm. in my opinion. And it's, like, it's kind of, well, I don't really know her typical award show outfits, but, like, for me, I'm, like, this is kind of surprising that she wore this. Yeah, and you can kind of see this poking out at the bottom. So it looks like this is just, like, sewed on to her, mm-hmm. like, last second. That's, That's cool. That's cute. And, like, it's very cohesive. It's giving me, like, circa, I want to say 2015 or 2016, but I have no concept of time anymore, so that's probably wrong. Mm-hmm. Well, and also, I like that, it's just something different. You don't see this, but it works. Yeah. I'm going to... I feel like it just works for her, too, because she's an athlete. Yeah, it just works. And it's not, like, it's feminine without being too femi- feminine. But, like, I don't think anyone could look at her. Like, I think a big thing with female athletes is a lot of people will comment on them looking masculine. Mm-hmm. Just because they're an athlete. Like, they're going to have more muscles. Like, that doesn't mean they look masculine. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this is a really good balance. And I don't think anyone could look at her and say she looks super masculine. But she doesn't also look ultra femme. And it's, like, a very nice neutral ground that I personally am obsessed with. I love that, like, neutral, mm-hmm. like, feeling. Um, this is four and a half for me. I don't want to give it a five. I I'm going to hold on to my five. But I do like it on her more than I liked Lady Gaga's on her. Mm-hmm. I yeah. just think it works. Yeah, and I'm also going to save my five. Until I'm going like, to save it. I want to be blown away. It's going to be the one that I look at and I'm like, yeah. No, like, I'm going to have to see it and be like five immediately. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel about fives, you know? Oh, I'm excited. No, okay, but next. <laughs> I, I like the jewelry with this one, though. I want to make Agreed. a comment. It's very subtle, but, like, ties in very well. Bradley Cooper um, wearing a Gucci suit. Basic-ass lo- motherfucker. He looks the same as he always does. I'm sorry. Something about Bradley Cooper. He's another one of those celebs that I'm just like, mm. I don't understand, like, you know? Like, me or him? Like, no, I just don't understand the hype around Bradley Cooper. Okay, thank you. Sorry, uh, for, I need to clarify that. I don't understand, personally. Just, no, he's not even... To me, he's not that attractive. I feel like my mom would like him. My mom does like him. I, my mom's never talked about him, but I feel like she would. If my mom ever said she liked Tom Cruise, though, I'd have to check her into, like, a mental asylum or something, because I don't see how he is attractive. I just think it's interesting how my mom makes fun of me for liking Timothy Chalamet when she's out here liking every celebrity. Every, every white man celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's wearing a Gucci suit. I'm, I'm going to give him a two because it's just the basic outfit he looks like he's about to like go cater a wedding or something yeah it's very it could have been a lot more they could have changed the vest like they could have done he with irena shank i just don't don't know who that is (laughs) she might be on here though no okay i just you need to see her because to me she's a 
goddess. Um, oh, I want to talk about Selena. Ooh. I'm very excited to talk about this one. Is she a model? Yeah. Uh, she looks like a model. How is he with her? <laughs> oh, they're not together anymore. Okay, good. They have a kid, but... Doesn't he have a kid with everyone, though? <laughs> I feel like. I think he only has one, but oh. I could be wrong. I'm mixing people up then. His daughter's name is Leah, like my mom. Hi, Leah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so. Selena. Selena Gomez, and she is wearing Oscar de la Renta. Mm. Um, I love her. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about the outfit. I like how classy she looks. I. She's kind of giving me Carilla. Deville vibes, though. I get that. I love it. I love. I could see look. you in this. Well, I don't even know. Like, I you kind of remind me of like your face structure. I think I everything. we both have kind of round faces. <laughs> she a Capricorn rising? Oh, we're gonna have to look up her chart too if you're going there. Um, I, ooh, I almost lost my microphone again. I almost fell over. <laughs> um, I what I really like is like. The little ounce of skin that's Mm -hmm. popping out. And, like, the jewelry's chunky, but it's also, like, kind of a choker-esque. And it's so classy. And it fits the outfit really well. And even better is she slicked back her hair. And she didn't do it where it's, like, completely slicked back. It's, like, slicked back but with a middle part. Yes. So it just works. It's a very classic Selena slick back. And like I don't listen to Selena's music like that. I'm trying to get back into her like newer acting stuff. I'm really excited to watch her show. I'm very behind. Mm-hmm. But I've been trying not to talk about how I'm going to watch the show mm-hmm. so people don't spoil anything for me. Um but uh, no, she's just one of the most gorgeous human beings and like so it's hard for me to not like what she wears. It just well Anna just fits her. Yeah, and that's it's the very, thing. It's complimentary to you of just, like, her beauty. Yeah. And, like, I kind of am obsessed because the black kind of goes with how deep her hair is. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's just, like, so nice. I don't know. It's just – and just how it's falling. I wish I could see the puffiness a little bit better because the picture doesn't do it justice, I don't mm-hmm. think. Because I can't see how the puffiness on her shoulders is kind of structured, if that makes sense. Yeah. I like it, though. This is another 4.5 really for me. It was, I almost wanted to give it a 5, but I just feel like something is going to blow me away. I'm going to give her a 4. That's fair. I, I like it, though. I really like this one, though. She looks so good. Oh, she looks fabulous. Love it. There's a lot of silver jewelry. Um, more men in suits. I don't know who that is. Okay. <laughs> mm. Sorry, we're just scrolling, you guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. We gotta talk about this. We gotta talk about this. What? This is a one. Is like, she, like, going to a picnic? That's what I was gonna say. Like, is, are those sequins or, like, flowers? Like, this is I know. straight up something you could... And what is she wearing? Make it all red, and I would wear that in the summer. No, like, genuinely. Like, I could buy that at Kmart. Like... Yeah. I'm so sorry to the designer. It says Erdem. Was a designer? Yeah, I um, like her hair. I feel like her hair looks thrown together. Is she even wearing jewelry? Okay. Mm. No, she did not plan to go to this event. Mm. Oh, well, I almost said, yeah, she is, but that's just her wedding ring. Yeah. I, I mean, like, other uh, The no bracelets, there's not a necklace also there's like been no straps like selena gomez had sleeves but no one's been wearing like straps or like Mm -hmm. short sleeves i okay i think that's another reason i really liked selena's though sorry to backtrack i love a gown with long sleeves like when like i get married i'm gonna have sleeves like probably see-through sleeves but i want sleeves at my wedding Mm -hmm. so this is one for me like if i could give it a zero i would (laughs) i I mean you can okay zero this is our show. We can do what we want. I'm going to give it a two. You're so nice. She was just... I also... Uh, wait, is this MJ? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Um. Um. negative 100. I hate Um. the first MJ. Nothing just, against like, her. I but... don't know. I'm confused why she picked this. I mean, it does look super comfy, though, so, like, you know... Me too. She should dye her hair. I don't like this hair color. <laughs> now that I know who it is. I think she's a natural blonde. 
Oh, well, she shouldn't. I wonder how she would look with dark hair. I know. I just feel like she would look really pretty with her skin tone with really dark hair. Mm-hmm. Like, uh... <gasps> oh, fun fact about her. She was another victim of Jake Gyllenhaal. I know. I know. I heard about that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you poor girl. You poor, poor thing. Oh, okay. You want to talk about Jada? Mm. Yeah. So this is Jada Smith and Gareth Pugh. Mm-hmm. Um, sorry if I'm saying these names. <sighs> Very no. queen of England. No, you know who she reminds me of? She reminds me of that one, the one professor in Harry Potter. The woman, the old lady with wrinkles. McGonagall? Yeah. Well, why is giving you McGonagall about this? First I just want to know. First of all, the way her hands are. That's how she walks around all the time. Oh my, yeah, the Hogwarts. hands are very McGonagall. And the outfit in general. Like, what? Okay, but McGonagall would look better in this. She, mm, no, not even her could pull this off. No, this I never said bad. she could pull it off. I said she could, it, it would be better. This is I just want to know who, like, why the decision to put these black sleeves yeah, why couldn't we take off the sleeves and maybe do, like, a little neckline? The necklace is too much, mm. too. Um, but then without it, I'm like, she would look like... Yeah, it would be horrible without it. Like I just... Without the necklace, make the dress white and she would look like Leia from Star Wars. <laughs> Dead ass. I'm really trying to find something I like. I mean, she's pretty. No, she she looks gorgeous. She's chiseled. Like, she looks pretty. I know. I'm like, damn, I need her jawline. And, like, her makeup looks pretty. But I'm just not. I'm not into it. I don't like this color. It ties into it. T- it's, like, literally almost the exact same color as the background. Oh, that's true. That's so, something people need to consider, too. That'd yeah. That'd be annoying. They're not sticking out, you know? Yeah, I'm not a fan. And, like, the ruching on the black sleeves is not a fan either. Honestly, the bottom of the dress looks like curtains. Yeah, I was just like, the material does not look great. Mm-mm. At least not from this camp. Yeah. I'm, I'll give it a one. Mm, I'm going to use my zero. <laughs> zero. I don't yeah, like this. Yeah, this one can be a one. I really hated the Kirsten Dunst one. <laughs> oh, Kidman, she's wearing... Okay, very Wednesday Adams grew up. Yeah, I'm can. Mm. Is that I'm like confused, velvet? Because like when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, I was mm. like not terrible, but like now I'm just like I just don't feel like it's doing much of anything. I don't like how big the bow is. And it's like that's the like the only thing that's going on with the dress. Yeah. And then I'm also like, should she have worn her hair up or should she have done something different? Maybe I don't, his, yeah, I don't like her maybe hair. Maybe even her do a slick back pony. And I don't know if it's the lip color or just how she's smiling in this picture, but it looks like the clown from it. It looks like Pennywise. <gasps> Dead ass, I was thinking that. Oh my God, I almost said that. I'm so sorry. It does. It's the um, red lip. I don't know, it's her eyebrows, too. Mm-hmm. Like, they just kind of go up. I'm not a big fan. I'll give this one a one. I don't have much to say. There's yeah, just I'm not much Yeah, I'm going to give it a one, too. Like, it's not ugly. It's just not great. There's nothing great about it. Yeah. It's, um, it's very average. Boring. Uh, Andrew Garfield and St. Laurent. And I appreciate that he has a suit that actually has a little, a little design. Yeah, he looks so good. I just love him. No, uh, we just love him. I love him. We're, Jalen and I have been planning to watch his Under the Silver Lake movie, and I'm super excited. I have, Jalen's seen it and loves it, and I haven't seen it. It's a, I think it's an indie movie. Oh. Or it's like, it's a like, not one of the famous, famous, like, movie companies. Cross and I, they came out. Or he, Andrew Garfield is going to be in a series, like a true crime one Mm -hmm. that we want to watch. I'm going to watch it. I think we were just talking about it. I talked about it with someone in this house. (laughs) It wasn't me. Um, Well, we'll talk about it because I want to watch it. Yeah, I want to watch it too. I'll probably make Jalen watch it with me. Yeah, I 
I love him. You know what I love about this outfit, though? I love that he has, like, the slight pattern on the suit and then the black on the underneath because I feel like people typically do the opposite. Mm -hmm. And I like this. Um, I think the yeah. pants could have been hemmed better. See, I was going to say I like that they're flowy. I like that. I like that they're flowy, too. I just think they're a little long. I like that, though. No, and that's fair. Because um, it looks, to me, his pants look very 70s. However... If I was him, I think I would have preferred it without the jacket. I was just thinking, I wish I could see it without the jacket. Without the jacket and maybe add a belt, and I think it would have looked really good. Yeah. Um, he kind of, if he would have done that, though, it would have reminded me of Harry. Yeah. See, when I was thinking, this is so hairy, and I hate that this is where I was going. But I was like, I wish I could see it with, like, one of his hands in his pocket and his jacket unbuttoned. And, like, so we could see, like, one side of his top torso, like, underneath. Maybe unbutton a couple of the buttons. Oh, see, on his I shirt. love the black tie on the black shirt, though. I love that. Mm. I'm not a big fan of ties or bow ties. I prefer a suit without. See, um, I like this one because it's a straight tie. I don't like the mm -hmm. normal type of tie, and bow ties are very prom because I always made guys wear the bow ties when we went to prom because you were not wearing a normal tie. You were not wearing a bow tie with me. <laughs> that shit's nasty. Okay. I was also a choir nerd, Lacey. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, this is a four and a half for me. Mm, I'm going to give it a three and a half. I love him, and I like it, but I'm still like, hmm. I like it. I think he's this so is cute. done right. He does not age. He doesn't, and he's hot. I'm still like, I can't believe he's like 39. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Jennifer Hudson. Um, Jennifer Hudson is wearing Vera Wang and God, her Pamelato. Okay, the color of her makeup. Holy shit. Perfect. So pretty. Perfect. So pretty. Perfect for her skin tone. Perfect for the dress color. Perfect with her nails. This is coordinated. Yeah. I wish the flowers weren't there, though. Mm. Or, like, at least one of them could not be there. Or make them smaller or yeah. something. But overall, she looks really, really good. She looks good. And if I'm being nitpicky, I don't like how the skirt is falling. Like, the just the materials in this haven't looked as good. I don't know mm. why I've been feeling like that. But, yeah. no, the, she looks really pretty. I'm really happy she did what she did with her hair. It's not Agreed. slicked back. It's a little bit, like, messy slicked back, but it's back. Yeah, it's how mine would look if I tried to slick it back. <laughs> mine's so frizzy. Hers isn't frizzy, though. That's not no, I mean. it's, like, intentionally. Yeah. Like, a little. It's like when we want to, like, put a messy bun in our hair. Yeah. It's a messy bun for a reason. <sighs> Her lipstick looks so good. And, like, like, the way her eyeshadow flares out just a little it's bit. It's so pretty. And that's black. Like, you know how hard it is to make black and, like, the light pink, like, blend together so smoothly? She like, looks so good. And her earrings, oh they're kind of pinky. Yeah. I appreciate all the pink. Yeah, it's a look. It and looks so good. For me, I really love it because I've been really into, like, those pink tones, like, mm -hmm. right now. So this is perfect. Well, me. and when someone focuses so much on a color, it can either hit or miss. And this is a hit. This is a hit. She looks really good. I would, mm, I would give it a 3.75. I was going to say. because of the flowers. Uh, I was going to say 3.5 because of the flowers. If this, if she didn't have the flowers or, like, it was slightly different in, like, a more flattering way, it might have gotten a 5 for mm -hmm. me because I do really like this. God, she looks so good. She looks so good. I mean, but Jennifer Hudson, like, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. She's just gorgeous. Is that all? No, there's another page. Cool. I don't know how many there are. Oh. Oh, Fanny? Is wearing Gucci with Cartier jewelry. This um, is interesting this, this is, looks this truly looks like an outfit that would have been on the 2007 gossip girl but also do you mean looks, that in good way or a bad way <laughs> typically it would be a good thing but this is like the one time when it would have been a bad thing see this is funny because so these pants are reminding me of kid cuddies 
and I was saying, oh my god, I wish like his top, and I was like, oh my god, I wish it was with the cream, but this was with like a nude, and I don't like it. I don't like the top. I don't like that I can't see her shoes, and she's wearing pants. I know that's weird, but I wish I, I could like, see her shoes. Yeah, I don't like the top, and then her bottoms are. They give me, like, pajama vibes. I feel like she's trying to look like Emma Stone. Like, in the face. This necklace is interesting. And the same type of bow that's just smaller than, um... The one with the black dress. Nicole. Nicole, yeah. I feel like she could have kept the top or the bottoms, but not together. I don't like the nail polish either. There's like a yellow nail and a blue nail, and then the rest look bare. Don't like the nail. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't like this. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. I'm gonna be honest though. I don't typically like what Gucci puts on the red carpet. Like I've never really loved what they do. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is because they're not exactly experimental. I just feel like they just put stuff together, and yeah. I don't really like it. That's funny, because Lady Gaga wasn't wearing Gucci, and she was in House of Gucci. That's so funny. <laughs> um, I'm not a fan, point but five. also... I'm not a fan, but, like, I've seen worse, so I'm going to give it a one. I'm going to... I got point five, so... Yeah. Cool. yeah. Um, I want to talk about this. I don't know who this is. He's a David Diggs? David Diggs? I'm, I'm he, he looks familiar. He's in Versace, and okay, I just noticed the shoes. This works for me. Mm-hmm. This is what men should do with no tie and a necklace. Love that. His no, and like his beard is so groomed. He's so cute. He's so attractive. Wait, I know who this man is. I know what? him. What is he in? And the shoes are silver, which ties into the pattern. Yeah, and it's not too much. I'm not overwhelmed. I like it. Again, it's cohesive. Oh, he's. Oh, he was in Hamilton. Oh, okay. He's done like a lot of. Okay, I can appreciate that. Oh, we love an Aquarius. Oh, we love an Aquarius. Oh my god. Oh, him with. Oh, he he looks. He's an attractive man. He is very attractive. Um, I like his outfit. I really like this outfit. I. This is what you should do, and like the simple like shirt underneath and then just like the print of the suit and he's 40 he's 40 yeah oh my god i hate when i think a man's attractive and they're more age appropriate for my mom yeah because our mom but also it's like (laughs) wow like he's 40 and he's doing better than these 20 year olds yeah, no, I really like this look. It looks really good on him. He looks so confident and comfortable, too, mm-hmm. um, which I think is so important. And I love that he doesn't have his hand on top of each other. Mm-hmm. And he's wearing a bracelet, which I can just appreciate because most guys would just pull up with the watch on one wrist. But he has a watch on one, a bracelet mm-hmm. on the other. I give it a 4.5. I really like it. Yeah, I agree. 4.5. Mm-hmm. It's really good. He's I really so like this. Cute. I was not expecting some of the men to pull through, I'm not going to lie. Because yeah. I just feel like this isn't one of those ones that people typically go out of their way to do great in. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. We can talk about them. This is Benedict Cumberbatch and Sophie Hunter. Sophie's wearing Christian Dior. And um, Benedict is wearing Berluti. Oh, it just says Berluti shoes. I don't know what he's wearing. He's just wearing a suit. But his wife, I'm assuming, has an interesting outfit. Doesn't she look like Anna? Oh my god, she does look like Anna! Like the animated. That's so weird. Here's the thing. I actually really like the, like, bottom half of the dress. But it's very prom to me. Yeah, and it actually does have, like, a similar vibe to my prom dress. It does. like, the top is just... I like the top, but... And the, like, I like the top, but I don't like the middle. Mm Mm-mm. Um, the top is interesting and it's different. Um, I also think this is too cool toned of a dress for her skin tone. Um, she looks like she has a warmer skin tone, so it just kind of is clashing. See, I actually think it complements her skin tone and her hair very well. Oh, really? And I do think that she went with the smart choice for her hair mixing with the dress. 
I'm I am glad she pulled it back. Yeah. And the little like side bun. It's cute. Yes, it's cute. And I just love Benedict Cumberbatch. He's just great. He looks so basic. He does look basic, but I like him as a person, so I wanted to stop on them. But not rating his, just rating hers. A one. I'll give her a two. I'll give him a one. Yeah. Oh, we can. Yeah, he's very basic suit. But do you expect anything less from him? Did you see he got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Oh no, I didn't see that. Is she related to Jake. That's his sister. Mm. She is referring so, to Maggie Gyllenhaal. Yeah. I don't want to talk about no. this. It's bad. This is a disaster. <laughs> that was oh, just... my God, Oscar Isaac. Oh, my God. Who is... He's wearing Prada. Who is this? Um, He was in Dune. He was in... Okay. Was he in... Yeah. He was in Star Wars, I think. I like the top half of this outfit. I wish he wouldn't have wore black pants. I don't know what it is because I don't necessarily like anything, but it works for me. No, it's that bisexual, ugly, cute thing. Yes. That's exactly what it is. I could have done without the bow tie. I I will say that for this, but I do like the brown and the purple together, and that's saving it for me. And me, as a woman who does not like bow ties, is actually like, yes, Oscar, I appreciate it. And I I like his stance. Like, he looks comfortable and confident, Mm -hmm. which is what I like to see. Like, and I feel like because men do kind of get shoved into this just wear a suit kind of thing girls kind of can experiment a little bit more and do some more out there things sometimes they don't feel as confident or they're like well i'm just here you know Mm -hmm. um and you can kind of tell who's like that in pictures but him and um david Mm -hmm. like you can tell they're like confident comfortable and like that goes a long way for me it does he looks confident yeah i like he looks good um three three agree yeah yeah um, I wish something was different, but I don't know what. Like, I know I said the pants, but they don't need to change the pants, but the, something needs to change. Yeah, something needs to change, but I'm also, like... Mm. But it works as it is, too. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. yeah. Um, hmm. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, um, Jerry Leto, wearing Gucci. I am scared. Um, this is bad. His his face and his hair and his glasses just look like motorcycle gang like mode. I <laughs> feel like he is about to like murder me. I am scared. Well, have you seen Blade Runner twenty forty nine? No. He's like crazy in it. It's mm-hmm. it's a good movie. It's a long movie, and it's kind of like you have to really sit and watch it. And I haven't seen the original, mm-hmm. but I felt like it was pretty easy to follow. But he was, like, like it tortured my brain. Like that he was so good in it. He was such a good actor, but like he did what he was supposed to do. I will say, this is the type of shit I could see Harry wearing. But it would work on Harry. No. Really? No. And I don't mean Harry now. I mean Harry when he's like forty. <laughs> I just I stick by this what is I said. How Harry is going to look. I stick by what I said. I don't like Gucci when they put stuff. I give this a zero. This is bad. Yeah, from the tie that's hanging all the way to his waist mm-hmm. to the weird buttons on the jacket on both sides of the jacket. Mm-hmm. To the sunglasses that don't go with anything, to his cowboy looking motherfucking shoes, is a zero. Yeah, it's. it's is bad. <laughs> sorry, Gucci, not sorry. You're still relevant. Sorry, Evan Peters. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Will Smith's on the carpet and him and Jada didn't walk together. They did. I think they, these are just separate pictures, but I'm confused. Oh, that's fair. But then they put Benedict and Sophie together so why wouldn't they just put them together maybe they did separate a little bit Mm. i don't know i don't have much to say about this he's hot he's hot (laughs) he's hot jada did him dirty but he's hot imagine cheating on will smith with someone your son's age who did she cheat on him with some rapper i think oh but it was a friend of jaden's i think and like 
I just remember the meme of him crying. Aww, <laughs> I felt so, so bad. No, I felt I felt so bad. I was so mad. Like, how are you going to do that to Will? Like, he is literally one of the few celebrities that has never been, like, controversial. Mm-hmm. And, like, they were, like, everyone looked up to them as a couple, too. And, like, like your whole family is famous. Are like, they still together, though? Yeah, they're still together. Mm. Because I've definitely seen pictures of them from the SAG Awards, like, walking together. Mm. I think. Oh, I like her. I'm going to skip you. Mm. Oh, did you want to talk about him? I don't know him. He's just hot. Jamie Dornan. Fifty Shades of Grey. Who is this guy? He looks familiar. I don't know who he is. Okay, we'll skip. Hmm. Mm. We should talk about this. I don't Amelia really. Jones. Yeah, do you know who that is? It sounds familiar. I'll look she it up. another Star Wars person? She's wearing Givenchy. And she's also doing like um, a slick. It, this is so Taylor. I feel like. I disagree. Really? Mm hmm. This to me is Kendall Jenner. Hmm. The hair, though, is very Suki water. I kind of wish she was wearing a bolder lip. Personally. See, I like... I really like this look. Mm. Oh, no. I just feel like her face and hair looks like she doesn't try, but I love the outfit. Mm-hmm. I really like it. She's an actress. It says she was in Pirates of the Caribbean, but, like, it doesn't look like she was in mm. all of them. Um, and most of the other stuff. She was in House of Anubis. Who were you in House of Anubis? I watched that show. Th- that was a gay awakening, bro. Something called Coda. That sounds new. Coda. Oh, Lock and Key. Okay. I haven't seen Lock and Key, but it looked like she was named. She looks Pango. really good, though. She looks good. Um, she's one of those people that there's probably a whole side of TikTok where the bisexual simp over her. Mm-hmm. She reminds me of Christina Ritchie, who was a Wednesday Adams. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really like this look, though. It's I a, would give it a 4.5. I'm going to go 3.5. Just because, I don't know, just something's not there for me. And see, I'm where I'm like, I don't know, something is there. Yeah, like, like, but it's just like I don't know what it is, but I'm like I really like this. I I like I like it. I feel like my thing is probably because I'm like I would wear this. You would wear this. The hair, the simple makeup. Whereas I really like Selena's because I'm like I don't wear that. Like, oh my god, yeah, you would wear Selena, and then I would. Wear oh my god, we look so cute. <laughs> we would, and we would look good together. Who even knows this? I don't want to talk about it. Um, you know who this is. Jessica Chastain, she's an actress. This is... I don't want to talk about this. Never mind. It's just... Oh, my God. There's a lot. Mm-hmm. There's a lot. Okay. I wanted to talk about people I know. Reese Witherspoon. I hate this. This is so bad. I love Reese Witherspoon. She is wearing... Sklarpelli? Sklarpelli. The I'm, question, though, is what is she wearing? What is this? The length of this dress Why? is not cute. The top of this dress is not cute. The dress does not fit her right. This blue, like, ribbon around her waist that just drags behind her like a train. No. Mm-mm. It's just no <laughs> for me. No. She literally, like, it does look like she cut down curtains and just tied them around her waist. Yeah, and what are these little horns curling in at the top? I know. <laughs> you remind me of Batman. See, it was more... Initially, my mind went Maleficent for some mm. reason. Um, But it looks like a mask. Like, the top of a mask is what the mm-hmm. top of her dress looks like. It does not look good. And the pointed heel. Yeah. Mm, I don't... I don't Mm-mm. like this. Her stylist did her dirty. Her hair looks pretty, though. It does. It looks pretty. She looks pretty. She she is gorgeous, and she is an amazing human being, but this dress is doing nothing. I'm sorry, Reese. It's a one from me. It's a one from me. Yeah. Mm. 
But you're like a five for personality. Yeah. I love you. Oh, I love Salma Hayek, if that's how you say your name. Mm-hmm. Um, she's wearing Gucci. This is very, this definitely ties into Eternals. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I hate it. You it's hate so it? I hate it. Mm-mm. I want to like it, but I don't. I like this color. I, I don't know. It's just so promy to me. Really? I will say she does look good in the color, and her makeup looks really good. Yeah. And her, I, hair. her hair looks good. It's, like, messy cute, and I like mm-hmm. it. The earrings I like, too. I don't know if I like it with this dress. I hate the thing on her arm, like, the sheer, like, with the little dots yeah. like thing. I hate that. Um, I like the material and I like the color. Just something about how it's structured isn't doing it for me. Mm-mm. No. I also kind of wish we could see it from the front. Yeah. And it looks like she's wearing, like, silver, like, platform heels just from the little bit. That's a smart Ooh. choice, I will say. Yeah. So that's fine. Um, it looks like it has a little bit of a train, and it's but it's just kind of laying there. So, like, it's hard to tell. Yeah. This so is... Uh, two and a half for me. I agree. Two and a half. It's not horrible. Her makeup looks really good with mm-hmm. it. But yeah, yeah her she, makeup looks really yeah, good. Yeah, and I love her. She is amazing. Um, she's the one girl in Eternals, and like, um, if you haven't seen that, the mom and grown ups, Adam Sandler's wife. Yeah, well, she has a lot of. She's credits. in a yeah, she does. But those are the two most notable things I think of when I think of her because I haven't. I'm not a huge booby person. Mm-hmm. But no, she's gorgeous. Yeah, no, I love her. 2.5. Oh my god, Vanessa Hudgens and a tiller Versace. So I don't know. <sighs> she looks really good. I'm not a big fan of the dress, but like just the way she's posing. The she color, pulls it off, but I hate hair. it. Her hair is the best part, in my She opinion. looks really good. No, she looks so gorgeous. Like, she gets prettier. Mm-hmm. I swear. Um, I like the... I do like the top of the dress. I don't know what it is. I like the straps with, like, how the dress kind of makes her boobs look. Like, it's flattering, but I don't like, like, under boob down. <laughs> yeah. She looks... It's like, for me, this shouldn't work, but it does. I feel like this would be cute as, like a slip dress that goes like just above mid-calf with a little slit in the side Mm -hmm. this color still yeah so kind of like still like the slit but like shorter and not like as tight to her body yeah oh that'd be cute this Mm -hmm. color works for her though it works so well and her makeup looks good with it. yeah because her makeup has kind of an orange tint a little bit which is like the compliment is compliments the like this like very light mint blue like i know mm-hmm. mint green's a thing but this is like a mint blue to me yeah that makes agreed. sense this is a 4.5 for or no 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 because i don't like the dress it's a 3.5 because i love how she looks i'm gonna give it a four okay i like it a lot and she, she how she's pulling it off makes me like it more mm-hmm. she so, looks so good. she looks so good um uh, uh, is there more? I think it's alphabetical. So if we're oh, la- yes. last name. Oh wait, maybe it's not. Okay. We should do one more. Yeah, one more. Let's scroll to see who's there. We gotta end with a girl though. <gasps> Haley Steinfeld. We have to do Haley Steinfeld. Um, because I've been looking at this look online. This is the one I've seen. Oh. Um, okay. She's wearing Tiffany and Co. Jewelry. And Miu Miu? It's M-I-U, M-I-U, sorry. It's two words. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I feel like this would look better if it didn't have the straps. Or I wish the straps were hanging on her, like, arms. Yeah, what I or think. if there wasn't a cutout. Ooh, yeah, I wish there wasn't there a cutout. There wasn't a cutout, and she, yeah, and she did something I wish there was also hair. a slit. I just love a slit, you Personally, guys. for me, put Amelia Jones' hair with this and then no cutout. That would have been my five. 
Oh, we didn't. I didn't give a five. I didn't give a five. Either. No one wowed me. No one. Wowed I was me. pretty wowed by the one though. The pink one. No, the um, Amelia Jones, the one that you weren't sure on. Mm. But I don't know. She looks I mean, good. She looks really good. I don't really like her hair though. I hate the little one strand. Yeah, that's the thing. That's if like, she had slicked it all back and like it was together, maybe I'd... do like a Selena hair. Yeah. Because she could pull that off. She could pull a middle part off. It's like no one's business. You know who I wish we would have seen? Who? Florence Pugh. Did she go? Because I want to try to find... This is a three for me. It's pretty average. Yeah. I want to see if I can find her, though. Oh, that's mm, interesting. I feel like it'd be probably easier to look it up. Yeah. I just want to see if she went. I feel like they would have... I don't think she did. I don't think she did. No. Mm. Hey, wait. That looks old, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh There wasn't very many Marvel people. I was hoping to see more, like, Scarlett Johansson Mm -hmm. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, we'll end on Haley Steinfeld. I'm content with that. Um... This was fun. I had yeah. more fun doing this than I thought I did. I like reviewing outfits, even though, like, I could not pull any of these off, really. <laughs> yeah. So, sorry we weren't great about describing, but I will provide a link. To... Yeah, so be sure to look. Yeah. There was a lot of people we skipped over, too, because um, we didn't know them. Mm-hmm. And there, was, if there wasn't anything over one, like amazing. We just skipped to the people we know yeah. or recognize or like just looked really good. Because yeah. like I didn't know who David was. I was like, he's attractive. He looks good though. Like mm-hmm. we got to talk about this. Like applause. Yeah. But I got to run guys. So yeah. Uh, well, we'll talk to you guys listening. next week. Bye. Bye.